Looks like Blue's having a rough morning here. You doing okay, buddy? Sawmill friends, I'm down here in the log yard this morning trying to find a good log to put on the 70 this morning. Now surprisingly, we've not put a walnut on the new sawmill yet, and that's going to change today guys. I've got a good one over here. It's going to make for some good slabs. Check this out. Alright guys, do not judge a book by its cover. And if you've watched this channel for any length of time, you know what I'm talking about right there. This is a complete walnut tree. It came out of Yuma, Virginia. We hauled this in about maybe two months ago. Me and dad went over a few months ago and got this thing. It was dead standing and fell over. Got a decent log right here. The one I'm after is right there. Here's the bottom cut of the tree. This may be one of the reasons why it fell over. Got that cavity right there in the pith. But it doesn't go up all the way. I'm not sure how far it does go up. But I think we might get some decent boards on that end. We won't be sawing this one today. Or this one. This one right here is the one I'm after. Check this out. This will be very interesting, guys. We got a big crotch right there on the top. But something that's interesting about this tree, guys, is the bark. Well, the bark's not there. But the way the grain is running, put it that way. You can see right here, the grain is twisted. Right through there, you can see it running at an angle right there. And I've never had a crotch log that had a twisting grain like this. So I'm not sure what that crotch area is gonna look like when we open it up, but it's gonna be pretty interesting. It's nice and solid down here on this end. I anchor sealed it, but we do have a little bit of a crack right there on the pith. But as you guys can look down through that log, you can see the grain, how it twisted right there, the way this tree grew. It's gonna be pretty interesting, guys. Let's go get the tractor and bring it up to the mill. Real quick, guys, for you people out there with backhoes on your tractor like we have here, your outriggers will fall down if your tractor sits for a few days. So uh, my tractor's been sitting here since Thursday and it's Tuesday right now, so we need to raise those up before we take off. Because as you can see, they make you a whole lot wider and you can tear a fence off pretty fast. Where was that? Been attacked by spiders in here. My goodness, I'll tell you what, here we go. Huh. You know what I didn't do? I sit here and told you guys how you need to raise up your outriggers. I left mine down. <laughs> sit here preaching to you guys about what to do and I ended up not even doing that. Well, that's better. Now, a normal YouTube channel would probably uh, edit that out. I think I'll leave it in there, though. Here we go. What do you guys think about this new microphone? Uh, I've been trying it out for about a week now, and I kind of like it. I think I can uh, get better quality inside the tractor cab than I used to. Let me know in the comments down below. Some of you audio guys may have some uh, tips for me as well. Let's see if we can slide in here and uh, pull out this walnut. Why well, I don't have the grapple on there right now? It's because 
I gotta stack some lumber after I saw up this log. Sometimes it's easier just to use the pallet for it. All right, guys. Got the large end facing us. Actually, it's the small end because the crotch is going to be a lot wider, I think. 25 and a half inches right here on the diameter. 25 and a half. Something else to point out here, friends. The pith of this tree is right here in this upper quadrant. And I'm using my anatomy days back in college talking about quadrants. But uh, you know what I'm talking about. The pith should be right here in the middle, right here down from it but it's up here in this corner. And that just shows how crazy this tree is, guys. It grew in an environment that it probably had to fight for sunlight. It was down in a valley right beside of a creek. And man, it had all kinds of issues while it was growing. It twisted and it, you know, by the pith being offset right here, you're gonna have issues when sawing something up like this. Now we're doing slabs, so it doesn't matter as much, but if you just wanna try to do lumber out of this, you would definitely have a few challenges when you sawed up your boards. Friends, down here on the other side is where the crotch is, and this tree has two crotches on it. We're gonna go with this one right here. The other one is actually a little bit wider, but if I turned it that way, it'd be like sawing into the horns and getting rid of a lot of material just to get that squared up for a slab, and uh, wouldn't be a very good idea. You gotta judge these things, friends. I stood and stared at this log this morning for about 30 minutes trying to decide on the best way to saw it. And I think, famous last words, I think the best way to saw it is to try to capture the crotch figure on this crotch right here on the top. Now it does twist, like I was showing you guys down the log yard, it does twist this way, so I'm not sure if that crotch figure is gonna hold up or if it's gonna get buried in the twist of this lumber. I'm not sure, or the slabs rather. We're going to have a good day, guys, because we're going to be the first people in the world to see inside of this walnut. Cutting nine quarter slabs on it. No, I'm sorry. Eight quarter slabs. And I'm using a silver tip blade today, guys. The Joe Main Silver Tips, the Turbo 7s. If you're interested in those, down in the video description, you can find his phone number. You can hit him up and order some blades. That's where I get mine from. And one last thing here, guys, I want to thank my friend Stan for letting me know about this log and making sure that we got our hands on it. So Stan, thank you for the log and also thank you to his church for giving it to us. We really appreciate it. That's what I'm talking about right there. Get you some of that. We've not had some good crotch walnut on this channel in a long time, and this log is going to be a good one, guys. Check it out. Got the crotch figure coming down. Got a knot right there. Not too bad, but we do have a decent amount of sapwood on all sides because this is the bark cut. You know, this is the first slab we cut. I bet if I flip this one over, it's going to be even better on the underside.
All right, let me bring the camera in to show you guys what we're looking at. Very nice. Check that out right there. Got some saw marks in here. I was going too slow. I'm still learning this saw mill, guys. It's a powerful mill. Nice and flat, though. Man, that thing cuts flat. Look you there. Man. Everybody get out your cameras and take a picture of that. And I'm going to drop my measuring tape on the floor at the same time. <laughs> but, uh, anyways, 28 inches right there at the widest point. Man, that's nice right there. Got your crotch figure coming up. You can tell that grain is twisting because it kind of goes away right there at the bottom. But, man, this is interesting right here. Like this no more. Most of my life's been waging war. Till I found peace, I could have swore. What she did shook me to the core, and I ain't gonna live like that no Like this no more trouble comes when the barmaid pours another four man who should have found the door. Oh, when I get going, you can hear me roar. And you know I can't live like this no Settle the score I ain't gonna live like this no more Tires will fall down if you don't use them So the saw, so the sawmill This is a sawmill right here You see the sawmill? My goodness But make sure those are raised up guys I about hit a tree the other day Because I left mine down and also, you want to make sure you put your key in here before you open it up. That's embarrassing. All right, guys, down here on the other end, down here, down here, down here. Goodness. Got some thunderstorms moving in. It looks like, uh, it looks like, it looks like. I can't even, I don't even know what I'm talking about. My goodness. Um, you get past that crook in the tree or the wire where the limbs come out. And as soon as you get through that little magical area, magical area, it's magic. I can't believe I said magical area. My goodness. All right, friends, that was really, 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 I give up. Let's see, so let me know in the comments below what you guys will do, especially if you're, uh, for you, for you, speaking French, my goodness.